welcome to its rafiq in this video we are going to learning about javascript introduction html is used to create web pages but it have very limited formatting options we can only create simple web page through html to make our web page more attractive and dynamic we must use some other programming languages javascript is one of most popular scripting languages to create web pages what is javascript javascript is a simple scripting programming language which is used to make web pages attractive now attractive means whenever you visit youtube you can see that their most trending video or whatever video you used to like that video are displayed this things is done by some programming languages so this is actually called as attractive even in facebook whenever you reload the pages you will get uh, latest notifications messages and latest post this is known as attractive so this can be done by some programming language only so javascript is also like that language only but this one is scripting not a programming language sometime we may need some dynamic content in our web page such as we want to display timer or display live score then javascript can be used don't be confused that uh, javascript and java are same java is an object oriented programming language while javascript is a scripting language mainly used for developing web pages or websites importance of javascript javascript can be used for many purposes it makes web pages interactive it is also a lightweight programming language which doesn't require any server it can be worked on the user's browser it open source and free to use so we no need to pay anything for that it supports in all the popular browser like mozilla firefox google chrome microsoft internet explorer etc writing a simple javascript program to write a javascript program we can use any text editor it can be notepad notepad plus plus sublime or any text editor javascript can be written within html document by enclosing statements inside script opening and script closing tag i think you already know about opening and closing tag the starting tag of an element is known as opening tag and the ending tag of an element is known as closing tag script tag must be placed either in head or body tag using external javascript javascript also can be written in a separate file and include in html document when our script contain more lines of codes suppose our script contain 1000 lines of codes then if we add in html document only it will be quite confusing so we can keep that files or codes in a separate file while we'll write the javascript in an external file we'll save that file as .js format suppose i have written some codes and i save that file in my script.js then i can use this line script language javascript src equal my script.js this line to call the file from that particular uh, particular external file alert statement alert statement is used to display a pop up window it mainly used when we have to display alert or some information to the user this commands we can write for alert statement like a uh, first that line is compulsory script type text equal type equal text oblique javascript language equal javascript then alert bracket on within quotes 
hello world bracket close semicolon script close so the output will be something like that it will display in a some uh, small pop up window document dot write statement document dot write statement is used to display textual information in a web page if we want to write a document dot write statement you can write the following codes script type equal text oblique javascript language equal javascript document dot write bracket on quotes whatever you want to write quotes close bracket close uh, semicolon then script close if we run this command in a web browser the output will be like this one now variables in javascript variable are temporary memory storage used to store values that can be retrieved when it is required in javascript var var keyboard is used to declare a variable in javascript there are three types of variable number which can store numeric values like 1 2 3 or any decimal numbers like 12.4 3.6 etc string which can store a word a letter or a sentence and boolean which can store only one value either it can be one or zero which represent true and false this is the codes codes to declare a variable or variables in javascript here i have declared two variables name and age var name comma age we if we have to declare multiple variables to separate them we have to use comma and if we have to assign value to the variable we should write variable name equal the value if our value is string or text then we should write within double quotes if our value is numeric or number we should write without quotes like here var name equal sezel is equal 13 operators in javascript operators are the symbol that are used in expressions javascript support different types of operators they are arithmetic operator relational or Com comparison operator logical operator increment or decrement operator conditional operator here you can see a plus b here a and b is known as operand and the plus symbol is known as operator arithmetic operator the operator that we use in mathematical expressions is called arithmetic operator all arithmetic operator need at least two operand so that so they are also called binary operator so, uh, arithmetic operators are addition which is denoted by plus sign for example 2 plus 3 equal 5 subtraction which is denoted by minus sign for example 3 minus 1 equals 2 multiplication which is denoted by asterisk sign for example 2 into 3 equal 6 division which is denoted by slash sign for example 4 divide 2 equal 2 and this might be new for you this is known as modulus which gives reminder for example 5 modulus 2 equal 1 if we divide 5 by 2 we'll get remainder as 1 so the answer is here 1 5 modulus 2 equal 1 
if we have uh, this question like uh, 10 modulus 2 then the answer will be 0 relational operator relational operators are used to compare two expressions the result of relational operator can be either true or false javascript support different types of relational operator equal to which is denoted by two equal sign not equal to which is denoted by exclamatory and equal sign greater than which is denoted by angle brackets opening and uh, closing angle brackets less than which is denoted by opening angle bracket greater than equal to less than equal to logical operator logical operators are used with one or more relational expressions and results it's either true or false there are three types of logical operator and which is denoted by two n symbol n person symbol for n operator both the relational operation uh, op expression should be true then the answer will be true if any one of them is false then the result will be false or operator which is denoted by two pipe sign for or operator any one expression should be true then the result will be true if all the expressions are false then result will be false in logical operator and and or required at least two operand the last one is not operator not required only one operand and it gives us opposite result suppose the expression is true then the result will be false if the expression is false then the result will be true for today's video this much only if you have any question you can ask in comment section till then take care and bye